All right, so we are on lesson four of module four. We're going to use tape diagrams to model fractions as division. So I'm hoping that this video will help parents be able to better understand how this quote unquote, I'm using air quotes, new math is being done. So let's take a look here. It says that we are going to draw a tape diagram to solve, express our answer as a fraction, and then we're going to show an addition sentence to support your answer, and the first one is done for us. So for A, we had 1 divided by 4 is equal to 1 fourth. If we had one whole, and it's split into four units, we're trying to find out how much one unit is worth. So if four units, 1, 2, 3, 4 units is worth one whole, then one unit is one whole divided by 4, or 1 fourth. It shows a standard algorithm, 1 divided by 4, is zero holes. Zero times four is zero. One minus zero is one. That's going to be our remainder, but we're not going to put the remainder one. We're going to put one over four. All right. And for our check, we're just going to say four times one fourth. We're going to do repeat addition here. We have one fourth plus one fourth plus one fourth plus one fourth equals four fourths, which gives us our dividend of one. We know that that check is correct. Let's go ahead and do B here. So we have our whole, the entire thing that we're splitting, or our dividend, is 4. So we have 4, and it's divided into 5 parts. So if we have 5 parts, we know we need 4 lines. 1, 2, 3, 4. So if 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 units equals 4, then 1 unit equals 4 divided by 5, which is 4 fifths. So if we have 4 and we split it up, this will be 4 fifths, 4 fifths, 4 fifths, 4 fifths, and 4 fifths. And when we see our multiplication or our check, we'll see how that's correct. So let's do our standard algorithm. 4 divided by 5. Well, we know that if we had 4, how many fives can we get out of that? Or 4 divided by 5 is 0. 0 times 5 is 0. 4 minus 0 is 4. And it's 4 fifths. So let's check that. So now we have our check. We have 5 times 4 fifths. So to check, we're always going to take our divisor and multiply it by our quotient. And here, what we're going to use repeat addition and say 4 fifths plus 4 fifths plus 4 fifths plus 4 fifths plus 4 fifths. And that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So that's 5 times 4 is 20 fifths, which is also equal to 4. If I was to take, I know 5 fifths is equal to 1, so every 5 fifths would be 1 whole. All right, let's take a look at C here. My whole is 8, and I'm splitting it into 5 units. 1, 2, 3, 4 lines will give me 5 parts. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And I know that if 5 units is equal to 8, then 1 unit is equal to 8 divided by 5. So that's equal to 8. Fifths. Now, this is an improper fraction, so I can even take it one step further and say, well, I know that I can take five fifths out and make one whole, then I have three fifths remaining. All right, so let's take a look at that. Eight divided by five. How many fives can we get out of eight? Or eight divided by five is one, and then we have five times one is five. 8 minus 5 is 3, 3 remaining out of 5. So that's 1 and 3 fifths. So if I did the check, so my check is going to be 5 times 1 and 3 fifths. So I'm going to write 1 and 3 fifths plus 1 and 3 fifths plus 1 and 3 fifths, 3, 4, and one more. So I have 1 and 3 fifths. 1 and 3 fifths, 1 and 3 fifths, 1 and 3 fifths, 1 and 3 fifths. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So I know that I have 5 ones. Add those up. That's 5 holes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And I have 3, 6, 9, 12, 15 fifths. Well, I know that every 5 fifths is going to be a hole. 
So I have five fifths, that's going to be one hole, another five fifths to get to ten fifths, that's two holes, and then fifteen fifths to get to three holes. So fifteen fifths is equal to three holes plus my five holes, and I get this is equal to eight. So I know that this checks out. It's the same thing as my dividend, eight fifths. Next, I have 14 thirds. I know this is going to be 14 thirds, but the directions ask me to draw a tape diagram. I know that my hole is going to be whatever my dividend is, my 14. So this whole block equals 14. I'm dividing it into three units. So how much is one unit going to be worth? If this is 14, I know that it's going to be three units equals 14. So one unit equals 14 divided by 3, which equals 14 thirds. Now, how many 3's can I get out of 14, or 14 divided by 3? So I know that if I skip count by 3, my first multiple is 3, then 6, and 9, and 12, and then 15. 15 is too much, so I know it's going to be it's equal to 4 holes. That will be 12, and I have 2 thirds remaining, 4 and 2 thirds. Let's go ahead and do the standard algorithm. 14 divided by 3. 3 goes into 14, or 14 divided by 3 is 4. 4 times 3 is 12. 14 minus 12 is 2. And it's 2 what remaining? 2 thirds remaining. All right, let's run our check. And as always, you can stop at any time and go over this. I'm speeding through this a little bit faster pace than I would if we were live, but you have the privilege of stopping and rewinding and watching it again. We just ran our standard algorithm, now our check. So we have three times four thirds. I'm sorry, three times four and two thirds. Make sure you get that right. So I have four two thirds plus four and two thirds plus four two thirds. So I know that's going to be four, eight, 12, that's my 12 for my standard algorithm. And then I have two thirds, that's two thirds, four thirds, and six thirds. Well, I know that six thirds will be equal to two plus my 12 is equal to 14. And when I say six thirds is equal to two, remember three thirds plus three thirds is equal to two and three thirds plus three thirds is also equal to six thirds. So this checks out with my dividend. I know that my answer is correct, 14 thirds. All right, moving on. Now it says fill in the chart and the first one's done for us. So they ask us for expression, a fraction, what two numbers, which two whole numbers is our answer falling between and then the standard algorithm. So let's go ahead and look at B. Well, I know if I have three fourths, then this is three by four. It falls, it's less than one, so it falls in between zero and one. And I'll just rewrite this as three divided by four. Three divided by four is going to be zero. Zero times four is zero. Three minus zero is three. I have three fourths, three out of four. All right, let's take a look at this. Seven halves is 7 divided by 2, and we know that this is greater than 1, so we have to figure out, well, how many halves can I pull out of here? I know that 7 halves can be 2 halves, 2 halves, and 2 halves will be 6 halves plus 1 half. So I have each one of these 2 halves equals a whole. So how many holes do I have? Hopefully you said 3 holes plus a half, so 3 and a half falls between what two numbers, which two whole numbers, three and four. So now I have seven divided by two. We said that it's going to be three holes. So it's three, three times two is six. Seven minus six is one. It's one what? One half. All right, moving right along. So Jackie cut a two yard spool into equal lengths of ribbon. So she had a two yard spool and she cut it into equal lengths of ribbon. What is the length of each ribbon in yards? And draw a tape diagram to show you thinking. So let's take a look. Jackie had a total of two yards. So we know that that's our 
whole. So that's two. And she cut it into five equal parts or five equal lengths. You know, we have four lines, one, two, three, four. So if five units, one, two, three, four, five units equals two, we want to know how much does one unit equal? So one unit equals two divided by five. So we know that two divided by five is two fifths. We don't have to show our standard algorithm or check our work. All it asks us to do is draw a tape diagram to show our thinking. That's more than enough right there. All right. So it says, what is the length of each ribbon in feet? So she cut five ribbons, one, two, three, four, five ribbons. If she had a total of two yards, we need to figure out, well, how many yards are in each foot? It's the same exact size. Only thing that's different is we're using a different measurement unit. So instead of yards, we're going to use feet. So we know that it's six feet and it's cut into five parts. So now we say, well, if five units equal six feet, one unit is going to equal how many feet? Six feet divided by five. And that's six fifths, which is equal to five fifths, which would be one whole and one fifth remaining. That would be our answer. Let's take a look at the next one. Baba the black sheep had seven pounds of wool. If he separated the wool equally into three bags, how much wool would be in two bags? Let's go ahead and do the math here. So we know that we have seven pounds as our whole. We separate it equally into three bags. You got to be careful of the word in here because it's separated equally into three bags, but they're asking about two bags. So let's look. So we know that we have three units. Three units equals seven pounds. We want to know how much one unit would be. Multiply that by two to figure it out. So one unit will be seven divided by three, which is seven thirds. And if we convert that to a mixed number, we would get three thirds would be one whole, six thirds would be two holes, and one third. And we're gonna multiply that by two because this would be for one unit. One unit equals seven thirds. So Now we want to take that, multiply it by two. So we want to take it and say two times two and one third, which is two and one third plus two and one third. And we get four and two thirds would be our final answer. And two bags of wool, these first two bags would be a total of four and two thirds. And last but not least, an adult sweater is made from two pounds of wool. It is three times as much wool as it takes to make a baby sweater. How much wool does it take to make a baby sweater? Use a tape diagram to solve. So we know that we have two pounds of wool to make the adult sweater. And it's three times as much. So that means a baby sweater is one third the amount. So we are trying to solve for this right here, which is one third unit. So we know that three units are equal to two holes. We want to know one unit to what? It's going to be two divided by three, which is equal to two thirds. To make a baby sweater, you would need two thirds pounds of wool. Okay. And that is it for this. Hopefully, you'll have time to watch this tonight. I know I posted this a little late. I tried to get it in a little bit earlier. And just sit down with your students or with your children and try to see if they understand the concept of going from three units, knowing what three units is as far as the total of three units or the whole, and figuring out how that relates to how much one whole is equal to. Hopefully, this helps. Please feel free to reach out to me on Class Dojo or via the comments, and I'll do anything that I can to help make sure that your child fully understands this concept. Thank you. Like and subscribe. Also, 
feel free to go back and watch some of the other videos with your child and make sure that we are fully aware of all of the concepts that we should know at this point.